The Kurdish Peshmerga forces in northern Iraq say they are close to retaking the strategically important Mosul Dam. Their advance has been helped by U.S. and Iraqi airstrikes. They're trying to push back fighters from the Islamic State group, which controls large parts of Iraq and Syria. The area it holds stretches from Al Raqqa in the north of Syria, right across to Mount Sinja in the north of Iraq, down to cities and towns like Tikrit and Fallujah. And the Mosul Dam has been under the control of Islamic State fighters since the 7th of August. The Iraqi army says it is fighting alongside Kurdish forces and that they've reached the perimeter of the dam. An army spokesman says they're also planning an assault to retake parts of the city of Mosul, to which a large number of IS fighters have reportedly retreated. Well, Al Jazeera Zaina Koda has been with the Kurdish forces and is following the battle. She joins us now from Tel Skaf near the front line. There is an active front line in the east of Mosul. Peshmerga forces trying to advance to Tel Kef, but they've been unable to do so. The Islamic State group they're just approximately two kilometers away from, from the front line. They've been using sniper fire mortars to try to prevent the Peshmerga from advancing further. Tel Kaf is a Christian town and what the Peshmerga have been telling us is that they want to recapture this, this land in order for the displaced people to return. They have advanced in this region. They've taken over three Christian villages. But for now, what we understand from Peshmerga commanders is that they have no plans to push towards the city center of Mosul, which is the stronghold of the Islamic State group. They say that they'll be willing to do so, but only after an agreement is reached uh, among all of Iraq's communities. So there is an active front line here in the east of Mosul, and there is a battle um, underway for control of the Mosul Dam. Kurdish uh, forces, as well as the Iraqi army, saying they're close to taking over the dam, but they're facing a lot of obstacles. The Islamic State group planting explosive devices, booby traps, so their advance is very slow. But of course, they are getting the support of the U.S. military. They are Air Force armed drones. They've been targeting um, heavy uh, artillery uh, positions belonging to the Islamic State group. So this is there's still a military operation in this region. It is the fight is far from over. Uh, but for now, um, the the morale of Peshmerga forces is quite high. They have managed to recapture three Christian towns in the ongoing offensive. Joining us now is Kubar Talabani, who is the Deputy Prime Minister of the Kurdish Regional Government, and he speaks to us from Erbil. Thank you, Mr. Talabani, for joining us on the show. Now, it does seem that the Iraqi and Kurdish forces are close to taking on uh, the Mosul Dam, but what about the surrounding areas and the city of Mosul? Uh, thanks for having me on. It, it's, it's a pleasure to be on. Uh, the, the dam operation is almost complete. Uh, most of the, uh, the dam is now in the hands of the, the Kurdish forces with the Iraqi forces. Um, they are now they're cleaning um, some of those areas, making sure that there are no planted bombs or IEDs. Um, so this has been a very successful operation so far. It has been a very difficult operation so far, but the coordination and the cooperation between the Kurdish Peshmerga forces the Iraqi uh, security forces and uh, the United States uh, air support has, has been very, very effective so far. The, the operation, though, is, is, is intended to um, retake the, the dam, which is a strategic location. Uh, any further operations after that, um, as, as your reporter said beforehand, uh, will have to be done in, in coordination and in partnership with all sides. Right. Now, as you mentioned, you did have some help in the operation uh, on retaking uh, the dam. How significant, just explain to us, how significant the Iraqi forces and the U.S. airstrikes have been in this push against the uh, Islamic State fighters? Uh, it, it's been significant and, it, and it's been good cooperation and, and hopefully this, these kinds of joint operations and, and this kind of assistance from, from all sides I think can help build confidence um, for future operations but also for some of the, the other challenges that we will likely face as a country going forward. Mr. Talabani, if anything, this operation, as you say, has shown cooperation and it also highlights the importance of Iraqi unity when faced uh, with a threat like the Islamic State fighters. Doesn't this then call into question the Kurdish push for independence? Well, we have... Um Obviously, the, the country is facing a challenge. Uh, all parts of the country is facing a, a challenge. It's a significant threat. Um, it's a threat to Kurdistan. It's a threat to the rest of Iraq. 
So when there is a, a common uh, enemy and a common threat, this, this hopefully can bring about a, a common purpose and, and greater cooperation. That's not to say that the country does not face significant political challenges. It does, uh, and those political challenges will require efforts from all sides to try to overcome them. And we're hopeful that now the country is going through a government formation process, uh, that we can work together to try to address some of the political problems that the country had that created the security challenge that we have today. Are you saying then that you will still push for Kurdish independence under the leadership of uh, new Prime Minister Haider? Um, we have not pushed for independence, uh, but we have made our position very clear from the onset. Uh, we wanted to participate in a, uh, a federal democratic Iraq that abides by its constitutions, that treats all members of the communities of Iraq equally and fairly uh, under one constitution, under one set of laws and, and set of values. Uh, that's what we're going to push for as we try to form the next government uh, in Iraq. Uh, if we can reach an agreement with our Iraqi colleagues, um, that would be great. If we can't reach an agreement with our Iraqi colleagues and we cannot reach an agreement on, on how to effectively govern the country as a federal democracy per the constitution, then we will have to readdress our, our, our situation and our position and, and come back with, with, with a policy. All right, Mr. Talabani, thank you so much for speaking to us. Kuba Talabani, the Deputy Prime Minister of the Kurdish Regional Government.